So Arlene Sorkin was not just the voice or the inspiration to Harley Quinn. She was Harley Quinn. When Paul Dini was looking for a character to go alongside Mark Hamill's Joker as one of their henchwomen or as part of the gang, he looked to Arlene Sorkin's performance on Days of Our Lives where she plays like this court jester in like this dream sequence. <laughs> Okay, two drummer boys go into a bar. But I'm but I'm bum. Boy, you're a rough crowd. You force me to shoot a few the moon. So he took the personality, he liked the voice, and then he made a character design, sent it over to Bruce Tim, who tweaked it a little bit, and thus Harley Quinn was born. So Harley Quinn is the most popular character coming out of DC since maybe the golden age. He considers Harley Quinn as the fourth pillar after the Trinity itself. That Harley Quinn would not be the same had it not been for Harleen's voice and personality. Can you imagine any other voice that, to go with Harley Quinn? That would just seem weird. The, according to Paul Dini, she, she was only supposed to make a few appearances uh, as a henchman or as a henchwoman. And, uh, but she was something special. There was a little bit of a sparkle to her performance thanks to Arlene's personality and voice that she continued making more and more appearances as this mischievous maiden of mayhem. And uh, she had these weird little adventures and then she started developing an interesting backstory as someone who was taken advantage by the Joker. So we started seeing new personalities to Harley Quinn. In comic books, she first appeared in Batman The Adventure number 12 which is considered her first appearance in the comic book format Harley Quinn's second appearance in comic books was uh, Mad Love which pretty much tells her origin story of how she was a psychiatrist who fell for the Joker because she felt empathy for him and she kind of connected with him as well and it wasn't until she showed up in Harley Quinn the uh, no Man's Land crossover where they really fleshed out her origins as a psychiatrist who helped the Joker break out of prison. She herself serving some time in prison so and all of that. And here we are almost more than 30 years later and Harley Quinn is still as popular as ever. She's in everything. She's in movies, animated series, anything and everything. You know, Arlene's personality and voice was so iconic. Even throughout all the changes that Harley Quinn has gone as far as like costume design and character design, she still feels like Harley Quinn because of that signature Arlene personality and voice that goes with her. So this is Batman Adventures number 12. This is the first appearance of Harley Quinn in comic book format. This was originally sold as intended as a comic book for kids. They would come in like packs uh, that you could still find in packs. Um, very good book and this if you were to look for an original copy of this it's a very expensive book to own nowadays. Favorite covers of Harley Quinn is this Adam Hughes one. This one is uh, signed by Adam Hughes himself and this is the German uh, version of it. Uh, the way you can tell this because it has the Luchess logo on there as well and also the American version she was censored so this is the original art the way it was done by Adam Hughes uh, however DC said that thought it was a little bit too risque so they put a little bit of like pants on her. This is the uncensored version as Adam Hughes had originally intended for this to be and this is my favorite recent variant of Harley Quinn. This is the one in 25, Jenny Frizen variant. Uh, this is to issue 25. And this one is also signed by the artist. Uh, I just really like this cover. It has her iconic hyenas, Bud and Lou. Uh, very cool book. And here I'm gonna be showing you guys a hardcover. This is Harleen by Stefan Sedjak. He does the art in here and he does the story as well. In my opinion, this is a retelling of Harley Quinn's uh, origins. However, this is done beautifully. The interior art in here is amazing. Uh, check out this dust cover. That's pretty wicked, ain't it? 
So definitely uh, one of my favorite stories of Harley Quinn, if not my favorite. So definitely worth a read. And for anyone interested in reading some of the best Harley Quinn stories, there is the Harley Quinn 30 Years of the Maid of Mischief. This is a collection of some of Harley Quinn's uh, most iconic stories or some of her key issues, including Batman Adventures number 12, and also has an original story in here as well. And this is what the interior looks like as well. Uh, so this has stories from the Amanda Connor as well, uh, Birds of Prey, which is also one of my favorite Harley Quinn stories in there. Um, very awesome book. For anyone trying to get more in depth with Harley Quinn, trying to know more, to mo know more about Harley Quinn in the comic books, that's definitely a great book. Now, if you're trying to get the best of Harley Quinn, I would say just check out Batman the Animated Series and check out some of the episodes that was in there, uh, including uh, Mad Love and the Laughing Fish are some of my favorites as well. And, uh, and also one where Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy go on a crime spree as well. So definitely worth the check out. So this was my little video, my way of like paying tribute to Arlene Sorkin. Um, just to say thank you for giving the world Harley Quinn. And uh, I'll see you guys.